good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to the first race of the season here of the MFN SRA Campdown Races Series. We're getting ready today for the Daytona Derby here at Daytona International Speedway. It's going to be a total of four races. Ten horses will take part in each race. It'll be a total of three furlongs, which is going to equal out to three laps here at this race. And the winner at the line will be declared the winner here at the Daytona Derby. We're going to have four winners here today. And then we'll be heading into next week's race with them as the all-time leaders. So we're going to show you now the first group that's getting ready to line up here in the starting gate. Starting in gate number one with the advantage for the start of this race. going to be captioned slow. Why so serious? Going to line up in gate number two. Gate three will host Fireball. Gates 4 and 5, American Sensation and Dragonfire. Gates 6, 7, and 8 will be Till Death, Espresso and Thunderboy. Dodger will take gate number 9. And then the final gate on the extreme outside will be Come On Man number 2. Let's go down now, track side, as they are getting ready to run. And here they go. The horses are going to approach the starting gate. Caption slow right there. Why so serious on the outside? Who's going to win this thing? Three furlongs. And they're off. Furlong number one. Getting ready to be run here as they're going to head down to the first turn. All these horses coming here to win today. All these horses very, very fast. As right now, Caption slow holds the top spot. But look who's coming up that inside line. My eyes to see me, or is that Fireball? It is indeed. Fireball getting a big run right there. Right directly behind him is Dragon Fire. So apparently the two horses with fire in their name, they're coming down to the inside line now. Here they come. Fireball now moves up a groove there. And it looks like the Dragon Fire is going to come down way to the inside. Dragon Fire going for the lead down here in the fourth turn. He will take the lead, will Dragonfire. Espresso right behind him. Espresso there, and then you got the two white horses there lined up on the inside line. You've got, I believe that's uh, Thunder Boy and American Sensation. No, that's Dodger and American Sensation. And Dodger's going to go for the lead here as he's going to go way down to the inside. Three wide here. Out of turn number two here on the second furlong, it is going to be Dodger leading the way. Right behind is the other white horse. That is American Sensation. Oh, no, that isn't. That's Come On Man. Come On Man there on that inside line now. Right behind him, that is Till Death. And then American Sensation bursts on the scene right there behind Till Death. As the two white horses are going to battle it out here out of the fourth corner. Coming down to complete the final furlong. They're getting ready to go on to furlong number three. It's Come On Man on the inside. To the outside is Dodger. Right behind them on the high side it's Fireball. To the inside it's Till Death. American Sensation back there as well. But Come On Man's got the advantage right now. Still holding the top spot. Dodger now starting to lose some groups some, or some positions on the high side. And Come On Man's got himself a pretty clear racetrack right now. Can he pull off a secretary and just leave everybody in the dust? Here comes American Sensation, though. Trying to get the run there to the inside line. No chance right there, though. Here comes also... That's uh, Why So Serious back to the front. Here they come. Out of the final quarter, coming down to the pole. It's Come On Man and Why So Serious. And it's going to be Come On Man. Come On Man wins the Daytona Derby. What a great win there for Come On Man, who I believe started off from gate number 10. Yes, he did. He actually started in the furthest outside gate. Came up in three furlongs and won this thing. A great win right there. Almost kind of uh, very much like uh, the Sea Biscuit. Always starting at the back and then running right up to the front. Looks like second place is going to be Why So Serious, I believe. Third place, I believe, is going to go to Caption Slow, who started in that prime position of that first inside gate. So congrats to him. Let's take a look here now at the official finishing results for this first race, the Daytona Derby. So here's a look at the leaderboard coming away with the 
$100,000. That's going to be, come on, man. Why so serious? Going to take home 75000 with that runner-up finish. And Caption Slow gets a podium finish as well. Coming away with 50000 American Sensation almost broke into the podium there. But fourth place for the four and comes away with $10,000. Dragonfire saw him up at the beginning of the race. He kind of fell back. He'll finish fifth. Till Death will be sixth. Dodger in seventh. Ace could be Thunderboy, Fireball in ninth, and Espresso will leave with only five hundred dollars after a tenth place finish. All right, so let's get ready now for our second event of the day. Let's look at the lineup for that race. That's going to be a good race here. And here you go. Here's the way they'll line up for the second race of the day. Alex Dason is going to line up on the inside of the first gate. Moonshine Rider will line up in gate number two. Gates three, four, and five are a reason to watch. Jackson five and Nitro. Then in gate number six is going to be Dark Bolt. Gates seven and eight, they will host Little Cub and John Marston's. And then gates nine and ten are Buckshot and the Big Mac. Now let's remember that Come On Man ended up winning from gate number ten. All eyes are going to be on the Big Mac. See if maybe he could pull off the same thing here. Yes, let's head now down trackside as they're getting ready to come down and race. So here they come, getting ready to get our second race underway here. Again, three furlongs to complete this race. Horses approaching the starting gate. Green flag is out, and they're off. It's going to be Alex Dason. I believe I'm saying that name correctly. I hope I am. It could be Alec Dawson, but I believe it's Alec Dason. He's going to have the top spot here. Right behind them, there's a reason to wait. Battling side by side there. We've seen the white horses battle before. This time, it is a reason to wait and moonshine rider. Nitro coming up the inside line as well. As coming out of the first turn, it is going to be Alec Dason holding the top spot, heading down the back straightaway comes Nitro. Good run right there. Going to pass both the white horses. Also getting a little bit of help there. And that is, I believe, from... Yes, indeed, that is from... Well, I thought it was from Little Cub. But I now I'm not so certain. Yes, it is from Little Cub. Little Cub there on the inside line. Now battling side by side for the second position with Nitro. And that's allowing Alec Dason to get away as he has led the first furlong of this race. Kind of dominated. Now he's getting a challenge there. Here they come. They're starting to gang up now on Alec Dawson. Here comes the inside. Or Alec Dason. However you pronounce it. Here comes to the inside. That is the nine. And that is Little Cub trying to become a big bear as he comes down to the inside line. Trying to take that top spot. Right behind him, here comes another car into the mix there. I believe that is John Marston's. No, that isn't Dark D John Marston's. That is actually... Well, I'm trying to see here who that is. That that almost looks like it is the Big Mac. It is the Big Mac. The Big Mac coming from out of nowhere, going to the front. Let's remember the history. We ended up having, come on man, out of gate number 10, win the first race of the Daytona Derby just moments ago. And now the Big Mac is leading here on the final furlong. But look who's coming to challenge. Whoa, John Marston's getting a huge run here. Can John Marston's catch him? Or Jackson 5. Here they come out of the final corner. Down to the pole. It's going to be the Big Mac. By a length, he will win the second race of the Daytona Derby. And for the second time in a row, the horse that starts out of gate number 10 has won the event. The Big Mac, no doubt about it, he's a Happy Meal today. Wow. Great run for him. I believe, I think that possibly... Second place may have gone to John Marston's. I don't know for certain. We'll have to go down for the official results. And I think Jackson 5 may have just squeaked out a podium finish. But again, big congratulations to the Big Mac on a big win today here at the Daytona Derby. Let's go down for your official results.
All right, so indeed the Big Mac with a pretty dominating performance there on the final furlong. He'll come away with the $100,000 prize. John Marston's, he'll come away with second. $75,000 will go to him. And Jackson 5 did indeed get the third and final podium position, coming away with $50,000. Nitro, good run today, finishes fourth. A reason to watch, finishes fifth. Little Cub was up there for a while, but dropped back to finish sixth. Alec Dason, the guy who started off, or the horse that started off in gate number one, going to finish today in a pretty disappointing seventh position. Eighth place, Dark Bolt. Never talked about him during the course of the day. Same for Buckshot, who will finish in ninth. And Moonshine Rider, who started in gate number two, going to finish in last in the tenth position. All right, so now let's take a look at your third lineup for today's race. Looks like gate number one is going to host Moonbeam. Then you got Miracle Machine in gate number two. Gates three and four are Stargazer and My Stepmum. Foxtrot will be in gate number five. Gates six and seven will be Thunder and Just Give Me Beer. And then in gates eight, nine, and ten are Bold Ruler, Sir Slips A Lot, and Mustang. Let's get these horses ready now as I believe they are getting ready to run. Let's head down trackside. Well, if the odds mean anything, right now everybody's pretty much got their money on Mustang, who's rolling off out of gate number 10. Because the last two winners we've had so far have ended up coming out of gate number 10 as they are off. And getting set now to head down into turn number 1 here on the first furlong. Moonbeam going to try and uh, reach for the moon, no doubt about that, as... He's going to take the lead here. Right behind, though, is Stargazer. Got two uh, celestial or galaxy-like names for these horses. So, it'll be interesting to see if it may come down between those two. Moonbeam reaching for the moon. Stargazer reaching for the stars. And while those two do that, you got Foxtrot coming up the inside line there. Whoa! Almost had two horses collide with each other there. That would not have been good. That's drastic when horses bump into each other. They could lose their footing and down they go right in front of other horses. That that would really not be what would make a good race today. And right now, Moonbeam and Stargazer, they're kind of checking out here. Got good runs there, but now they're going to battle side by side for the league. It'll be interesting to see if the field's going to come back to them. Yes, they are, and they're being led by Just Give Me Beer. Who I'm sure has had one or two or three before this race. No, they, I don't think they give horses beer. But now Stargazer is going to lead this thing. Whoa, look who's coming now. Sir Slips a lot. Not slipping at all right now as he comes up here. Battling in a three-wide situation for the second position. Bold Ruler right there as well. As they come down here getting ready to take the final furlong. Leader is Stargazer. Stargazer right behind him, though, as Sir slips a lot. And then you got a battle for third between Bold Ruler and Just Give Me Beer, who seems to be slipping back now. And here comes Bold Ruler now, along with Mustang. Now remember, Mustang rolled off out of gate number 10. And now Mustang is up here in the mix. Will Mustang be able to put a move here? Here comes Mustang. There must be something about that 10th gate, because Mustang's come to the inside line now, trying to do it for the third straight time, win from gate number 10, right behind though, that is, I believe, yes it is indeed, that is, well I can't tell, I think it may be my stepmom, but here we go, it is gonna be Mustang winning this thing. Third straight race, gate number 10 ends up giving us the winner. And this time, it is Mustang. Second place was actually, I believe that is Sir Slips a lot. Trying to find out for certain. And I think, possibly Thunder may have gotten third place. We'll have to look down at the official results. It was almost too close back there for second on back. But we do know for certain that it was Mustang who ended up winning this third race. Tell you what. I'll tell you what, whoever ends up getting gate number 10 in the fourth race, pretty much all money's going to be on him for that win because that is unbelievable. That's an unprecedented three straight times that the horse that has started out from the furthest outside gate has ended up winning this race. Let's now go and take a look at the official results as we prepare for the final race 
of the day here in the Daytona Derby. So here's a look at a Mustang going to come away with $100,000 for his victory today. As a matter of fact, it's also the second time today that a horse with the number two on it has gone to the winner's circle. Come on, man, did it in race number one. My stepmom ended up coming over the podium finish in second place, gets $75,000, and Bold Ruler just barely beat Thunder to the line to capture the third and final podium spot, coming away with $50,000. Thunder, $10,000 for him. Stargazer, seems like it came down between him and Moonbeam at the start of this thing, but Stargazer will have to settle for fifth. Just Give Me Beer finishes sixth. Miracle Machine will finish in seventh. Sir Slips a Lot in eighth. Moonbeam in ninth. And Foxtrot will finish the day in 10th. Never talked about Miracle Machine all day long. Tough break there and a finish of 6th place. All right, time for the final lineup of the final race here in the Daytona Derby. Starting in the inside gate is going to be Sutter Gold Digger. That's a moment to Luigi to you. That's going to be in row... Uh, no, sorry, that's going to be gate number 2. Horses starting in 3, 4, and 5 are going to be Star Horse, Duke Horsey von Superfly, and Star Walker. Then in gates 7, 8, and, or to make that 6, 7, and 8 are Team Llama, Make It Count, and Hale. And then Ted's going to be in gate number 9, and Big Sexy is going to be in that critical number 10 gate. We'll see if it's going to help out that horse in being able to get to the front. If so, it would be a historical moment with having four horses start from gate number 10 and win each and every event here in the Daytona Derby. Let's head down trackside now for the final race of the MFN SRA Campdown Races Series here in the Daytona Derby. So here we go as the horses are approaching the starting gate. Time to find out who's going to win the final race of the Daytona Derby. And they're off, getting ready to come to start the first furlong of three. Sutter Gold Digger on that inside line right alongside of That's a Mama Luigi to You. That's a actually very fun name to pronounce. And right behind is Star Horse. And then also Star Walker right behind there as well. That white horse trying to peek out of line there. So they're going to go three wide for the top spot, heading down here into the third turn of the first furlong. Let's not forget, a horse with the number two on it has gone to winner's circle two out of these three races. Right there you see, again, the white horse with the two on it. That is Star Walker. Could he end up being able to do it? But if he did, then we would not have the historical thing of a horse starting in the 10th position and being able to win this thing. And right now, it looks like that horse that started in gate number 10 is now fourth on our scoring monitors. Big Sexy coming up the inside line. But right now, it is Star Horse leading this race. Whoa! Nearly some contact back there. And that was between Sutter Gold Digger and Team Llama. But they did keep it together. Last thing we want to do is to see two horses crash here at this course. That could really put it the lives of the jockeys in jeopardy and also create some pretty difficult decisions for the owners of these horses. Apologize for that glitch there. There we go. Star Horse going to still lead, but now here comes Star Walker down to the inside. It's a battle of the stars. And it looks like Star Walker going to take the lead. Now coming up that inside line right behind, that is Ted. Not exactly sure uh, what the, the horse is named Ted for. It could be for the Ted movie that came out, or it could be named for Teddy Roosevelt, or it could be named for something entirely different, of which I have no clue. But all I do know is that Ted is now going for the lead, and this was the final furlong. Wow, completely caught me off guard. Final furlong out of turn number four on the final furlong. It is Ted and Skywalker down here to the stripe by half a car length. Ted has won the final race of the Daytona Derby. Second place was Star Walker. And I believe third place was Hale. It was indeed. Hale picking up the final podium spot here in the final race. 
take a look now at the official finishing results. What an impressive outing by Ted, and not only does Ted win the fourth race and come away with $100,000, but has actually broken the streak of horses starting in gate number 10 being able to win the race here today. As a matter of fact, it's a long ways down before you get to that horse that started in gate number 10. Star Walker going to come away with an impressive runner-up finish and get $75,000. Hale comes out of nowhere to capture the final podium spot and receive $50,000. Make It Count, going to finish fourth. Duke Horsey Von Superfly, going to finish fifth. Star Horse, who led quite a majority of the race, kind of, I guess, got tired there at the end and could not hold on, will finish in the sixth position. Seventh place is going to be, that's a Mama Luigi to you, Team Llama is going to finish in eighth. Ninth is that horse that started off in gate 10, Big Sexy, and Sutter Gold Digger will finish in 10th. I'm pretty certain that Team Llama and Sutter Gold Digger ended up finishing as far back as they did because of that contact we saw there. They kind of had to regroup and were not able to be factors in this win. So congratulations to our winners today. Race number one, it was Come On Man. Race number two, it was The Big Mac. Race number three, it was Mustang. And race number four, it was Ted. They will definitely go in as the favorites and a lot of the odds are going to be on them. Yes, next week, due to the fact that now we know the performance of this first race, there will be odds on these horses. So, adding a little bit more of a monkey wrench into there. And we, of course, congratulate each one of our winners on receiving $100,000 as well. All right, so next week, folks, we hope you'll tune in for our second race. No idea where it's going to take place at, but we hope you will tune in. Hope you enjoyed this concept and this first race of the MFN SRA Camp Town Races Series. See you guys next time.